Matthew Stuckey here, and I wanted to quickly give you this, the results of the Soul Winning Mega Marathon in Asia for 2021. And it was a great success this year, and um, we, we got over a thousand salvations between all of the Soul Winning events and all the like-minded people and churches doing Soul Winning. And so I wanted to quickly give you a rundown of the different areas, and I'll give you individually for countries outside the Philippines, and then I'll just give you collectively the results of the Philippines, but also give you the locations and kind of tell you what's going on in those areas in case people are looking for a church to join and things such as that. So we counted results from Wednesday, March 31st through Sunday, April 4th, and there's many reasons why we did that. Um, here in the Philippines especially, um, you know, you have a lot of time off for holidays, especially during the Easter time. Many people had time off and they really wanted to get the, start, the soul winning started early. And so a lot of us are, we have soul winning at midweek before our, our midweek church services on Wednesday. So we count on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, of course. But we also wanted to include Sunday because there are a lot of people that are overseas Filipino workers who work Monday through Saturday and they are in countries that are not Christian countries and they didn't have the time off work to do soul winning earlier. So really their only day and their only time and option was Sunday, but they wanted to participate. So we wanted to include those results. So Wednesday through Sunday works very well for us and we're planning to do it again next year. And um, overall 1,047, or 1,048 salvations, I should say. There's one extra salvation to add that, that I, I, I just forgot about. 1,048 salvations and basically in 14 different areas, um, depending on how you look at 14, 15 different areas, because some churches had various soul winning spots. So outside of the Philippines, here's what we have. In Hong Kong, there were four salvations and one soul winner. Now in Hong Kong, there was actually a, a great movement of like-minded people and lots of soul winning going on. And Hong Kong went through a lot of turmoil, so a lot of people moved away. And so if you are an online listener in Hong Kong, and um, you know, I, I just encourage you to reach out to me so I can get you in touch with um, the people that are like-minded there in Hong Kong, because a lot of the soul owners have left now, and of course they're, they're um, you know, looking for like-minded fellowship. But uh, you know, great work there, four salvations, one soul winner. And then in the United Arab Emirates, there was 51 salvations, 13 soul winners between Abu Dhabi and Dubai. And so in the UAE, it's obviously a Muslim country, and they cannot be 100% open about everything that they're doing. However, you know, there are a lot of like-minded people in the UAE. So if you're interested in uh, joining up with that, that ministry that they're doing, and the church there, and the soul winning and everything taking place, reach out to me, and I'll get you in touch with the people. And um, just, you know, obviously they have to be cautious given the situation. They have to be wise as serpents. But... They're doing a great work there, and they had over 50 salvations, so great work there. In Singapore, 28 salvations between three soul winners. And in Singapore, they've been doing a great soul winning work there without really a like-minded church for a long time. But uh, they've been doing a great work there, and there's like-minded people. So if you're in Singapore and you're like-minded, you tune into the online ministry or our ministry, reach out to me, and I'll get you in touch with the people there. And they're doing a great work there. And then in Bicol... Um, going to the Philippines. In Bicol, they had six soul winners this year, which is great because that's more soul winners than they had before. And I want to give credit to Bre Brother Realwin who, who messaged Brother Edward Bokarin about, and they asked me about it, are we going to be doing the Mega Marathon? It was something I had thought about, but I wasn't sure if, if, if people were interested. And um, I said, well, let's just go for it. And so Brother, Brother Real One's really the one who kind of, you know, started that going. He's excited for like-minded fellowship there. Six Soul Winners is great. More Soul Winners than before. They're looking for a new IFB church. And so great work down there. And um, so they had six Soul Winners. They had a lot of salvations. In uh, Pangasinan, Brother Edward Bokarin, he's been running a church there for several years now, before we started, actually. And he's a friend of mine, and he's doing a great work there. They had a lot of Soul Winners and a lot of salvations. If you're looking for a church in Pangasinan, that's the church to go to. And um, between us, we had soul winning in Pampanga, uh, Bulacan for the provinces, and in a lot of areas of Metro Manila. Next year, we're hoping to expand maybe to Cavite, Laguna City. We're right on the border of Rizal, so maybe parts of Rizal, maybe Antipolo, various areas. But we were in Pampanga, Bulacan, and Metro Manila, and um, it was great for us. We had soul winning records this week, so people were really encouraged to do a lot of soul winning. In uh, Baguio, um, High Crest Baptist Church Outreach, they did a lot of soul winning for several days and got a lot of people saved. They've got a Facebook, they've got a ministry, they have a lot of people that watch their sermons and things such as that. And let me just say this, that I support the work they're doing in Baguio. We had somebody at our church before that ended up getting kicked out of our church, and he was telling people that we don't support the work they're doing, that what they're doing is unbiblical, 
that they're fake, they're not like-minded or whatever. And you know, everything he said was false. And I just wanted to be said it here. I support the work they're doing in Baguio. People don't have to be 100% just like us. They don't have to be ordained by Pastor Anderson or Pastor Jimenez or you know Pastor Shelley or whomever that's like-minded in order to be someone that we would support. And so, as far as I know, they're very clear on salvation. They're right on all the main doctrines. You know, they agree just like us on all the key doctrines that are out there. I don't, they don't have to be 100% like us, but I've met some of the people there. They're doing a great work. It's a great job, High Crest Baptist Church Outreach. They had a lot of soul winning, which they regularly have there as well. And then in San Mateo Rizal, Brother Ace Sambo, and he's been running a church for several years now, even before we started. And so if you're looking for a church in San Mateo Rizal to go to, you know, I know many people at the church, you know, I've guest preached there before, and uh, Brother Ace has guest preached for us before as well. They've got a lot of great people there in San Mateo Rizal. In Calapan City, um, Brother Tony Dallasai, it's a new church that just started. He just got ordained as a pastor. So if you're looking for a church down there in Mindoro, uh, Calapan City, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, they did a lot of soul winning, and they're doing a great work there. And um, then also in Mondawe, there was soul winning that took place. Uh, Brother Sam Mancilli and the ministry they have there. And Liloan City, um, Brother Archie Babatido, and they're doing a, 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 that's actually a new church there as well, if you're looking for a church in that area. And then of course, last but not least, in Davao, um, obviously, Pastor Logan Robertson in Pillar Baptist Church, and um, you know they are, they've been doing soul winning there for a long time, getting a lot of people saved. They're doing a great work. So if you're looking for a church in Davao to go to, then that is the church to go to. So I just want to run down all the different areas. Um, this year was a little bit magulo. It was a little bit difficult because um, there's certain restrictions from the government. Um, parks are closed. Soul winning mainly had to be door to door. And uh, we're hoping that there can be a lot more locations next year. This is a tradition we want to keep alive. And there's over a thousand salvations here in Asia. So obviously people are excited about this. People are, you know, really participated and did a great work. So I appreciate everyone who took place in this. And we were able to just jointly work together. And, you know, I would say this, like, I haven't met every single person on this list. But if I lived in any of these areas, that, those are the churches I would go to. Those are the people I'd go soul winning with. And so I'd recommend these areas if you're looking for a church or like-minded fellowship. So great work, everybody. And next year, let's, let's do it even better and get even more people saved and get more locations started. So anyways, thank you and God bless.